The intro. Intro scene, boom. Bam. Easy, fast. Yeah, nice and fast. All right, back to the regular home screen. There it is. There it goes. <laughs> oh, bros and bro lats. Vikings and Valkyries. Welcome to Iron Theory. A podcast about fitness, life, and everything in between. I'm Broden. I'm Brokey. All right, so this uh, podcast actually begins a series of three episodes um, because so this is actually an offshoot Trilogy, of last week's episode. So yeah, yep. Yeah. Where we where I brought up this idea of the swole trinity, right? To yeah. be truly swole, you need to be swole of body, swole of mind, and swole of heart. And we figured, you know what? Let's break those down. Let's actually look at every single aspect of swole, this little triangle, this trinity of swole, yeah. and really break it down. And today we're going to start with swole of body because of course. Because of course. Because of course. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to talk about strength, right? If you're going to talk about being swole, like everybody immediately thinks, all right, swole, yeah, you're jacked, you're muscular, yeah. I mean, it's it's usually the, uh, our first, like a, like when we meet somebody, it's the first thing we do is visually look at them and make probably make some kind of a judgment, right? <laughs> Tell us a story. You were recently swole uh, shamed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that kind of works out. Um, so I was changing, I was there at the Subaru dealership changing my oil and I'm sitting where the counselor is supposed to meet me behind the desk and tell me all the shit I'm the supposed counselor? to the buy. Yeah. The, you know, the, they, yeah. they call them the counselors now counselor. Yeah. Like the, the person that'll sit in front of you or behind their desk and you're in front of that them. That is such a Gen Z thing to call somebody. And, uh, I need a counselor for my car <laughs> and my they're car like, is okay, well you, issues. you hit the mileage where, you know, at this point in this mileage, you should be getting like like 20 things done i was like i don't even want to know the price tag because she was like she was talking about financing this shit i'm like bitch please but anyways i'm sitting there i'm waiting for this chick to come by and i'm listening to a conversation because i noticed that they're speaking polish i'm like oh yeah okay polish i understand that um and they uh yeah there's there's some uh there's some there's some yeah mosquitoes uh (laughs) And and I listen. I'm listening to a conversation, and I noticed you're talking about something about beard, something about tattoos. So I'm now I'm listening. Okay, so it sounds like me, <laughs> right? Because I'm like looking around. I'm like, I think I'm the only one because I had a tank top on. All right, I just came from the gym. I had my tank top on. I had my pump on. So I'm sitting there, and it went something like this. The chick, I think she she noticed that my tattoos and she's like oh they, they look nice on on you know on muscle or whatever some some along those lines and the guy she was talking to i guess like some auto tech or whatever was also polish he was like oh, i don't need muscles like that da, 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 da. some shit like that oh, so oh he was jealous i guess he Man. must have had like a crush or something on this cashier lady oh, you had the cashier lady's attention and he did not like it yeah. So he swole shamed you because he Very is not so. swole of heart. He was not swole of heart or body. Oh. In this case. <laughs> Poor guy. I feel bad now. Yeah. So I was like, oh, well, that's an interesting conversation. It was just funny. I should. I was like, maybe I should turn around and say something. But I was like, why? I'll just let. I'll just let him talk. Because I mean, yeah. What, what's the point of <laughs> talking to that? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting conversation. So let's get started with swole of body and talk about what that means. Swole of body obviously means strong, jacked and strong, right? Jacked jacked and strong strong. in layman's terms. But there is a debate to be had here. And this is what I was thinking about going off of um, with you for is for each discipline. Can we determine what the ultimate test of strength is? I think I think so, because I think there's. There's various ways we can kind of define strength specifically, yeah. but you know, in 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 all of the the physical realm, because when we when we say swallow body, we're talking like physical stuff that's you know yeah tangible, like the, the challenge in the, in the in the physical realm here. But yeah, uh, for sure. So let's actually get started. So of of all the weightlifting disciplines, I think globally the one that's most famous, and I don't, it is probably like Olympic weightlifting. In the United States, it doesn't have as big as a foothold. I mean, it definitely became more popular as CrossFit became more popular. Yeah, um, because true. they incorporate the clean and jerk and the snatch. Um, but I think globally, 
like when people think weightlifting, there it's usually either bodybuilding because of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is right. global reach, exactly. or Olympic weightlifting. You, you know, it's kind of like cricket and rugby. Huge in the rest of the world, not so much in the U.S. Olympic weightlifting, I would gather, is probably the more recognizable form of lifting for the majority of the rest of the planet. Um, as far as recognizable, I would say, I would, I would compare, uh, Olympic weightlifting to the, the, the nerdy stepbrother. I feel like it's very, it, it, it's popular, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like the first thing that pops into a lot of people's minds. In my opinion, I think when like CrossFit, I would assume is something that might pop up in somebody's mm. head or yeah, like, I mean, if we're just talking general population, you know, unless we're talking specifically about people who lift around the globe, like, the first thing that pops into that population's mind. But I think in just, like, in general sense, just, like, whoever, like, even if they're not lifting, like, something, yeah, I mean, I would say... That would be interesting to find out, though. Like, yeah. what is the most pop... Like, what is the most popular of all the strength sports? Shit, I can find like, out. Like, globally. You know what? Yeah. L- l- let's actually Google it. Yeah. Because I I don't... It's what... I have no evidence to substantiate my point. I just imagine that globally, like, Olympic weightlifting is probably the most recognizable. Sport. Only because it's been around for so long and it's on the Olympics... Uh yeah, weightlifting. Yeah, weightlifting. Um, top ranked strength and power sports, but they're also throwing gymnastics oh, and shit. Oh, weightlifting, water polo, wrestling. Uh, okay, but weightlifting still seems to be. On wow, top. strength sports. Yeah, wow, weightlifting even more than American football globally. Wrestling, that yeah, because I mean that's still strength. Okay. Like that's still yeah. like a type of an athletic thing. Ooh, um, yeah, let's so, throw that in there. So weightlifting, yeah, Olympic yeah. weightlifting. Yeah, I mean, because I do see like when I'm on social media, specifically like Instagram, there's a lot of people who will repost these yeah. like uh, PRs that uh, these girls and will do these giant ass weights, yeah. um, impressive stuff, and it's just fun to look at. Yeah, it's always like some eighty. It's all. It's always like some eighty five pound, um, <laughs> like Chinese girl who's like fucking squatting seven hundred tons. Yeah, legit. Just yeah, super strong. Just super technical. Yeah. So that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that Olympic weightlifting has the largest reach. So there's two disciplines in Olympic weightlifting. You have the clean and jerk, and you have the snatch. Yeah. Now, technically, there are a lot of ways that in competition you're allowed to do them. Like in the Olympics, we usually see the clean and the split jerk, but but there's nothing stopping you from doing a push jerk or like just a push press. Um, Of those two, which do you think is probably the ultimate test of strength Uh, for, for Olympic weightlifting? Uh, narrow them down for me again. What were the two? The clean and jerk and the snatch. Uh, man, it's 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 tough because I I would say I would say maybe the clean and jerk has one extra motion there because I feel like the snatch is a bit of a, a faster like almost like a one thing yeah kind of a thing whereas the clean and jerk you gotta get it up to your shoulder and then there's the actual you know press up unless I'm yeah. mistaking those two but no you're right yeah yeah I would say the clean and jerk would be a more difficult thing to do in my opinion just because it's like j- just because of that whole motion but i guess i yeah but i'm gonna stick to that i'm gonna stick to okay friends. i'm actually gonna agree with you on that one um i i don't i don't think it's the most difficult of the two motions and and i think that's i and i think that's a distinction i need to make to me the snatch is significantly more complicated just because the the shoulder positioning i mean the amount of mobility work you need to do in like every part of your body yeah. um for for most weightlifters that I've seen, the depth of your squat for your overhead needs to be so much, much lower yeah, than true. for, that's like, true. like you can't power snatch your way uh, into a heavy weight. Um, so I think that's the more complicated of the two. However, I do think that the clean and jerk is a better test of strength. Just because it, it does have that double component of testing, right, your pull, your front squat and your overhead press, I I think that is a better test of strength. Whereas snatch is more of a test of mobility, speed, ab- ability, technique, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because you could stupid strength your way into a clean and press. I do it all the fucking time. <laughs> I can't do a real clean and press to save my life, so I just stupid my way into it. <laughs> I feel like on that level yeah. though, it'd be 
it's i mean you you have to be pretty damn near perfect as far as technique and then then it's just the m- amount of weight do you think that's <clears throat> those are weights they practice many times before they actually do um the actual competitions or is that some you think the the weights that they're actually attempting are actual foreign weights that they're well, we're attempting so there are a handful of weightlifters that i follow on youtube um or at least that, that i used to i've since narrowed down my youtube viewing pretty much to exclusively strongman um Makes sense. but from uh juju used to hang out a little bit with, with an olympic weightlifter and what i've looked into it they will use a regimen that is not unlike sort of power lifters what they would use because you do get three attempts at each lift so that's something that powerlifting and weightlifting share in common you get three attempts at each weight and the biggest one counts um i think it's like one of those like your first rep is just to get on the board just to get points something you know you can do comfortably the second one is going to be like a really heavy single like something you've done in training but you're pretty sure you can do now and then the third one is like a new personal best like okay i'm gonna go all in i'm already on the chart let's just fucking you know risk it for the biscuit (laughs) <laughs> but I know that their training regimen is insanely specific. Like they will practice and micromanage every single part of their of that movement. I mean, the clean from the blocks, a hang clean, a pull, like just every single little almost you know how like West Side Conjugate, if you've ever seen the the movie, like the like the documentary on West Side where they just break down the bench press into the lockout, the push, the chains, the band, the reverse. Right. And that's literally how weightlifting is trained now. It's just like they they zoom into every little possible part of the lift. Like the just the initial pull off the ground, for instance, on the clean and jerk. Exactly. I mean it seems it seems like the internet also kind of agrees that clean and jerk is actually more difficult than the the snatch, you know. Take that with whatever you want, you know, as far as uh I don't know if it's more difficult. The the clean and jerk than the snatch? I mean I guess it depends on, on mobility, but I am thoroughly convinced the snatch is more difficult, but the clean and jerk is just a better test of strength. Yeah, overall. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, sure, you're always going to be able to clean and press more weight than your snatch just because you're not catching all the way above your head, you know. Yeah, man. Like that's, but, that's something I would still man, Yeah. I want to kind of okay. train. I want to I want to try to train one of those movements, more specifically the the snatch because I'm just like If you want to play around, you can get started with a snatch balance and then just like snatch grip deads. And then slowly work your way up into it, but you see that movement. I've seen I've seen this on uh, a few posts people make through mm-hmm. on you know depending on what hashtag I'm looking through, um, where they set the bar up on like really tall boxes, and then you're just under it in the squat position with your with your arms in that snatch position, and then you get your hands on it and yeah. you just you know squat up with like however much weight to just kind of I guess just get that motion down because there's still the initial you know this part <laughs> which is so so just like an overhead squat yeah, or is it I, just I guess like so. I, you would you yeah. would describe i would describe it as an overhead squat because the the barbell is chilling on like oh who knows like five five foot boxes or whatever mm-hmm. and then the person gets under it into the like that squatting position gets their hands oh, on it already okay. already locked out and then they just come up you know they lift off the the bar off the boxes to get into that like locked out position of the snatch. So, oh yeah, it's pretty. I'm guessing it's just getting used to holding that kind of weight in such an uncomfortable. Under... I mean, it is Man, on your wrist. If you've ever tried to like really overhead squat heavy, I've only done it like once or twice. It will fuck up your wrist. Yeah. And your wrist mobility. I mean, you you, you don't even front squat the Olympic right. way, like. But like I tried, uh, I did. I've I've done warm ups with like doing just an overhead squat for like uh, like spine mobility and shoulder mobility, like just to get like a, a pole uh-huh. arm or whatever, not even a barbell, but just like some kind of pole. You just have that really wide grip. But it's you know for me to be in this the the proper position for me, I have really long arms. So you know as far as shit, I mean, maybe I'm built for that. I don't know. Maybe I have to try it out. <laughs> that yeah. said definitely get like shoes the the platform yeah. shoes the the heel shoes yes. they make a every difference in the world for sure all right let's move on to the next one which is bodybuilding so i think this is one where 
we might agree again. Bodybuilding is not a test of strength. Not, not particularly, no. But they're, that's not to say bodybuilders aren't strong. They just don't train ex- specifically to be strong. Right. Um, nonetheless, obviously bodybuilders every now and then will, I mean, a, a lot of bodybuilders will also dabble in powerlifting and power sure, building sure, and all sure, that kind sure. of stuff. What do you think is the ultimate test of strength for a bodybuilder? Uh, I would say, I would say it's, it's the repetition count. So, you know, let's say they're, they're training, like you you have two guys who are bodybuilders who are training at whatever it is, chest, let's just say a bench press. Um, you know, it's, it's not an uncommon thing for somebody to essentially challenge the person to do more repetitions, right? Because A, you're going to overload that area that you're trying to work anyways. You're trying to build your chest. So there might be a competition of, okay, how many repetitions of 225 can you do or whatever okay. whatever that number is. But I would say in the bodybuilding realm, it would be more of a, a repetition kind of a thing, you know, like so the endurance aspect. Of what that. movement matters most? That's shit. That's debatable. Because, <laughs> I mean... I mean, it sounds like the the most bro answer would probably be a bench press. I yeah. would assume it has to it, be. It probably is. It has to. Be. Yeah, I mean, it has to be the bench. The bench press. How much you bench? How much you bench? I mean, it's like full on football, like NFL combine style, like two twenty five. Go rep it out until you die. You know, because even from like like you know high school and shit, you know, bench presses yeah. was like that that king of exercises or whatever, um, for, of the upper body at least. So. It was, uh, or it is, I would say the, 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 the specific movement that I would say that, yeah, bodybuilder might actually do for strength would be, would be a uh, bench press. Yeah. I am definitely convinced that bodybuilders, like if they're, if they want to test who the strongest one is, they'll just throw 225 on a bar. Or maybe like a, a heavy bar. curl. No, they'll, nah, they'll throw 225 on a like bar. Like a heavy curl? Nah. Oh, it, it's going to be 225 on a bar, and, and they're gonna and they're just going to rep it out and see who can rep it out the most. That's, that, that's true. definitely going to be... I would see the bench yeah. press. Yeah, Hands sure. down. Sure. Hands down. But I've seen, I've seen some really stupid stuff. I mean, there's there's so many, you know, bodybuilders that'll be doing crazy... Lou Ferrigno! Look, <laughs> look at fucking uh, <laughs> Larry Wheels, who does all this crazy fucking... He's not a bodybuilder. He's a fitness influencer. That's a category yeah. all its own. That's, that's true. not he doesn't actually... him and Bradley Martin. None okay, of them true. compete. Right, that's they true, just true. shoot up D-ball and look good on YouTube <laughs> and true. sell stuff. That's, that's not bad. That's... I'm not knocking you. You know what? All power to you. <laughs> You've made a successful career of it, but I'm just saying, like that. That's their goal, you know. Their goal is follower count, you know. That's their job. It's not. It's doing? not fucking. Like nobody cares what they do as long as they sell product, you know. Right. It's fine. Exactly. I mean that's that's true. Yeah. Facts. That's facts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, bench press for reps. I would I would assume because even at the gym. That's that's a pretty popular area is, is where all the bench presses are, and I'll see like the the crew of like yeah. people just like hounding around a fucking yeah. bench press, like taking turns yeah. and you know definitely I would say bench press for sure. Okay. Powerlifting. Deadlift. Yeah. Oh my, we're we agree on so much. It has to be, the, has deadlift. To be the deadlift. Cause I mean, like like since it doesn't, you don't see the deadlift necessarily in a Olympic lifting. Powerlifting, it, it's the deadlift. I mean, squat, yeah. yeah, but I would say deadlift just because it's like, okay, you're just pulling weight off the ground. Visually, it just looks like the most like strength thing, I guess, you, yeah. know, you do. <laughs> and technically, I mean, so every lift in powerlifting is an all-body lift. Techni- I mean, if you're doing it right, if you're doing it correctly, right, I mean, I remember this one time, this Russian dude set the world bench press record and he tore his quadricep. If you're doing it right... Every single power lift, every single one of the big three is a full body test of strength. But the deadlift is just, that legitimately, really, truly is every muscle in your entire damn, damn body, body firing. A lot of them, at least. Definitely the test of strength. Yeah, I would say that. Our days are good. Uh, so we are live on a stream right now. We have a, we have a person saying hello. Yes, our day so far is pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm actually going to get to talking about my day when we get to the next one. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> um, CrossFit. Ah. Number of injuries. 
<laughs> the number of injuries. That's that's your test. Of, that's those your are test the badges of, of honor that you yes, wear. The number How many injuries. fucking injuries you got, huh? Yeah, that's it. Do we even know anything enough about the like, CrossFit game? We what's watched speed? the CrossFit games at the Arnold, what's, and I still don't know what they were trying to do. What's speed? I mean, for what them, it's the definitely like shit. If you, <laughs> why you know what? Why don't we go there? Why don't we, it's it's the less functioning strongman competition? Oh okay? my god! Because a lot, because a lot, because a lot of it's like speed based, like you know, heavyweight shit, right? It's, but but they got a crew, right? It's like it's like teams that are just like going in and doing reps and shit. And, it's competitive exercise. <laughs> Com- it's competitive can, exercising. It's who can exercise the best. The hardest. <laughs> who can exercise the fucking hardest. Tell me it's wrong. That's what CrossFit is. It's competitive exercising. I kind of like that. Because uh, it's like, because what, what are the main lifts they do? I mean, they do... Everything. They do everything. I mean, there's there's a clean and jerk in their wad. Dude, it's the wad. everything. I was watching wad, a CrossFit wad, wad, games wad, wad, and these wad. motherfuckers, they went from deadlifts to a weighted one mile run to a 30 mile cyclocross to clean like I Man. literally they just they alphabetal they go on Wikipedia and they go of list of exercises and they just fucking throw dildos at the <laughs> wall printed until something sticks and that's this the wad. This is the wad, This bro. is the wad. This is like okay. One million burpees motherfucker. Weighted burpees. Uh, one handed pull ups. <laughs> And and you know what? Weighted burpees. What RDL, R- kettlebell RDL for reps. Let's go. Like <laughs> fuck it, just like a lot of kettlebell. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I love me some kettlebells though. Yes. Uh, CrossFit workouts are the same way. Are they're done the same way Vice decides on documentaries? <laughs> oh god, I like that. That that works. That's that's the real. <laughs> that's for god. the real. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, but yeah, seriously, it's I mean, it's definitely, it's number of injuries, but I would also say that's, that's the asterisk, uh, speed. I mean, just like it's cause it's all time. They're just trying to yeah. like knock out as many like finished reps as they can, I think. And they're yeah. like in rotation, at least from what I see in like competitions. So CrossFit, so we covered CrossFit, we got powerlifting, we got bodybuilding, we got Olympic weightlifting, strong um, man, strong man. Well, let's okay. actually get there. So we do yeah. have a new world strongest man, Tom Stoltman. Um, Who the, what the fuck does this so guy look like? Tom Stoltman, he's uh, well, I mean, he's listed as from the UK, but he's the first ever Scottish world strongest man. Scotland. Um, yeah. So he's well, that's uh, UK, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, technically. Yeah. Right, right. I don't think they're very happy about it right now. Sure. But yeah. So he's the first Scottish uh, world strongest man ever. <clears throat> and uh, Stoltman. So. Congratulations, oh, Tom. Guy. Yeah, he's brothers with Luke. They both compete and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for strongman, it's a very... I have a bigger struggle trying to determine what is the ultimate test of strength for strongman just because they have so many events. What, um, what do you think is the most iconic? Atlas Stone. So, I would say, usually it's... Uh, I would base it off of uh, like how iconic because it's all visual... You know, it's a spectacle, I would say, for strongman. So, what's the thing that pops? What What's the thing that hypes people? What's well, the main event in, they in like have, a strongman? The it's pen, like wrestling, you know, the pen ultimate, the pen ultimate strongman event is definitely Atlas Stones. But you know, so many, you know, <laughs> so much of. So much of strongman is just moving weird, heavy objects. The I mean, and this is why it was so hard to decide. My argument is still with Atlas Stone. I think the Atlas Stone is the ultimate test of strength for strongman. I think is the penultimate event. Like when people think, like when you think world strongest man, the final event is always Atlas Stones. Like it's just such a very specific strongman thing. It's it's got to be the Atlas Stone. End of story. Yeah. But then they have so many other strongman events that qualify. I mean, it's in the a name, strongman. Yeah, yeah, truck pull, train <laughs> pull. Um, there's a lot of them. Could be a truck pull. Truck pull. Because cause I'm sitting there, and, and then there's also you know Some kind the, the, the Husafel carry, pull. Um, the Conan's wheel, which is just really any heavy circle kind of thing, lift and carry. Uh, Obviously, the the log clean and press. Um, 
and deadlifts are also huge in strongman. There's that always fr- some oh, sort the frame of deadlift. Carry, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah frame, frame carry, carry, farmers carry. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Atlas Stones. Atlas Stone. I mean, hey, I would I would, I would agree just because I feel like that's the one that pops into my head. As far as uh, I mean, just just the overall. It, like picking this fucking thing up off the ground because it's on there they're on the ground or yeah. okay um so you start in like a deadlift position in a weird like a, a a bear hug deadlift squat thing like you you get it up, <laughs> you get it up. up. i mean like like what shit, I, it's, it's hard i just came back from a super long drive so i drove to south bend indiana we're we're located in chicago I drove this to is south how bend, indiana went. Yeah, and and I bought three Atlas stones from this guy who makes them, just has molds, and then I drove back. Um, I did find more local people, but none of them messaged me back. (laughs) So, Illinois strong men who bought the molds and make stones, pay fucking attention to your messages, all right? right. You could have had 300 something dollars in your pocket. But now you don't, okay? And I had to go all the way to Indiana. So Illinois strongman people, get your shit together, please and thank you, okay? So I don't have to drive all the way to Indiana to buy a an Atlas stone. But um, so I've got three of them in my car now, and uh, I run it. Um, I'm gonna need you to come over to my garage so to help me take them because getting them in the car was I did not think about the getting them out of the car part. <laughs> so. <laughs> Viewer asks, what's our expertise? So I am a personal trainer locally here in Chicago. So that would be my expertise. I have no credentials whatsoever other than a biology degree. Um, I, I guess that counts. And I guess you're, just your bit. overall experience. I mean, yeah. a lot of times in like lifting, um, you know, especially if you do it for a while, you know, there, there's yeah. the, the experience of, of lifting. Yeah. as well <laughs> so i have been lifting for just about a decade now yeah, yeah i would say so um at least eight years minimum um power lifting for the most part so i'm definitely more on the strength athlete side of things um so just getting into strongman i'm competing in my first ever strongman competition in september that's fun um, great lake strongest man I'm very excited yeah. for it my training for that is going absolutely swimmingly so I guess that's my expertise. I also used to weigh three hundred something pounds, and I lost a hundred twenty weight pounds. loss expert right here. <laughs> yeah, so going from like three oh five to I think my lowest weight was one sixty one sixty five ish. So that was a solid, you know, fuck ton of weight to lose. But would you say just just real quick? Would you <laughs> yeah. say that uh, you know I mean to to understand these things, it's something that you definitely have to go out of your way to to research and study and and kind of like understand the 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 practicality of these specific things like strongman powerlifting and all that stuff like that's something you have to you don't really just jump in i feel like there has to be some kind i think most people will do a google search or you know go down the rabbit hole and like spend some time there you know absolutely and it's not like i wasn't trained like i had a personal trainer when i first walked into a gym in like middle school I went to export, and my mom signed me up for personal training because I was always a fat kid, so I figured let's lose some weight, right? Yeah, sure. Um, So it's not like I I had a personal trainer. Um, His name was Big D. Big D. Big D, um, which I may or may not have been a racial epithet at the time, but, you know, (laughs) fuck fuck, fuck all I know. Um, I guess there's that, but... (laughs) <laughs> wow, I'm really selling myself short here. Let yeah, me explain what? something to you. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. I know my shit because I did my shit. I I, think, I, I think walked the talk and, and I talked the walk and I talked the talk and I walked the walk. I did every variation of those three things. That's how I know my shit. I don't. Nice. I can't read. You need a bigger screen, man. <laughs> I should just. You like need have to. It. You, you need a second monitor. Phone. You need a second monitor. Lug it all the way over here. <laughs> get a laptop on our screen on our sign over here. Yeah. Yeah, I should get a yeah. laptop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about for like other sports? Like, are there any other sports where strength really, really matters? Um, I mean, I, and I don't want to get into like tiny like off like yeah, Scotland games yeah, or yeah. no no. Um. Would you? I mean, would you say like, as far as, uh, like sprinting or something like that? But I guess that's very specific because yeah. the, the the strength thing is sprinting. It's not like, yeah. well, I guess it's like, okay, what's the strength for in running? I would say is sprinting. 
I would, I, I would say. Well, it's, yeah, the strength <laughs> sport of running. Yeah, right. I don't know. It could also be the ultra marathon runners who do, like, the 100-mile endurance races. Right. Yeah. I mean... I, I don't know. That that That's more strength of will than it is anything else, I'd, I'd, that's I'd wager. That's true. That like, would be... That. That's... Yeah, right, right, right. Um, let's see. What are we missing? Because we got... I mean, as far as, like, all the, all the obvious shit, but is there something that's not necessarily obvious? We got, uh... We got a comment. He says, or she, or it, they, they. They, it, them. Zizim. Shot put. Shot put? <laughs> oh, yeah, for like, str- for, I don't want to say that's sprinting, but but that's track and field. Yeah, shot put. Yeah, for sure. Shot put is the test of strength of, of, the, of like, the, the running. Of um, track and field. Track and field. Okay. That makes sense. I would oh agree there. I, I I don't I haven't lost track of I what are, like there are so many different layer the the decathlon the dodeca hedrathalon and all the other like like archery and shooting and running and just like okay can we just how many events are there in these things just like oh my god just like <laughs> that's more than strongman has and strongman has like a five page list of potential shits that you got to take oh my god it's a nightmare. I mean, because there's a lot of, like, uh, they're just going through a lot of Olympic shit. I was just going to, yeah. I just Google search just to see, like, what, what the general populace or some asshole on some website was saying. It was the first thing that popped up. But it's like, they, like, they just list weightlifting as number one. They got yeah. football, wrestling, but they're just going into the specifics there. Wrestling, I'm interested. I mean, wrestling For a wrestler. Be... Wrestling would be interesting. Um, it's got to be a squat. Yeah. For... I mean... Uh, wrestling, cause you're, I mean, you're on the ground, you're, you're in this hip hinge position for a lot of the times, you definitely need a lot of core strength, um, and you're trying to overpower somebody, um, I'm also just like, cause when I'm thinking about like, Olympic push. wrestling, right, like true, like actual wrestling, not WWE. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm referring I, to. Is I have to imagine it's a squat because you're starting. I mean, you're starting upright, and it's a matter of who can get. Oh, that is a good question. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, for for because uh... they duck walk a lot. So I I like every now and then I'll watch. Um. Uh. Like. I'll pass by the wrestling room. I, I'm a teacher. Yeah, he's um, a teacher. So, and we have a state championship? I don't know. But I'll walk past the, the wrestlers training, and they're always doing, like, some sort of duck walk or some sort of, like, just, like, push off ground fast kind of thing. So they make a fair point is that strength can also be explosive. So, yeah. I mean, that that means that, you know, something like sprinting or anything of that specific category would be would be considered strength. But, you know, we were trying to figure out as far as, like, the disciplines, the different disciplines of, uh, you know, I guess these the strength categories. What are, what are the specific tests of strength within each discipline of that? So, uh, but, I mean, yeah, I would say, I would say for, like, in the, in the running aspect, I would say, like, sprinting or something like that. All right. Cheers, whatever that was. A follow, a like. So, <laughs> why... So we're both legit pretty strong. I mean, you are... A, above average. Above average, right? Sure. I mean, definitely, <laughs> like, I mean, for you who don't specifically train for strength, like, you look like you lift, right? Like, people look up like, oh, yeah, he's got muscles, right? You look like you lift. And I'm, you know, I'm at the place where, like, I got traps. Like, he obviously lifts, you know. Um, I am still chubby, but, you know, I, I look like I lift. But... Why is it important to be strong? Why is it important to you to be strong? Um, I mean, just for, for like, especially from being a personal trainer, like, I can, I can go through the, the just daily, usually I'll go to the, the daily uh, task thing where it's like, do I want to be a brittle old person or do I want to have, like, strong bone structure, mobility, flexibility? Like, like in, in my mind, in my opinion, that's, that's strength to me. As far as like you know what I do and what what my essential goal is just to just have longevity right for for me, just to make sure I can do this for for a very long time. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, like like dabbling in the strength stuff, but but all that stuff adds to that. I feel like so getting strong and just doing like deadlifts and stuff like that, like over a certain percentage of your body weight and and squats and stuff like that. You know, so I'm not saying I'm gonna be setting like crazy PRs or anything like that, but you know, progressing in those specific movements just overall will, will help my you know my core, my my hip mobility, ankle mobility, all these things. Um, so that, that, that is my definition of strength is like, that's why that shit's important to me. Okay. So for you, it's more like longevity and just make sure you don't age to be a decrepit, broken shell of a former person. Sure. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) That's that's not the nicest way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, like for me, it's like, okay, yeah. Looking just, just being in healthy physically in this aspect, just having that physical health, you know, on top of everything else. That'd be my strength, my my argument for the strength there. Yeah. Let's go to um, the Oprah book club moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the Oprah book club moment. All oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, aside from the three hundred pound losing weight thing, like yeah. you don't. That's not necessarily getting stronger, right? Um. I mean, plenty of people can lose weight and you don't get stronger. You just get lighter, you know? Yeah. Strength training, I, it helps a weight loss program, but it Definitely. doesn't necessarily, it's not like a prerequisite. No, it's no. helpful, very helpful, but not required. Like getting super strong is not necessarily part of the weight loss journey. In right. Fact, sometimes it, it could slow down, the, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was always a little bit strong. Like I was always, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to say I was weak growing up, but I mean, I was a, I was short and stubby. Being short and stubby automatically comes with, listeners, can you hear the dog chew toy? <laughs> Somebody take this damn chew toy away from this dog. <laughs> the one person listening to stream, can you hear the dog chew toy? Because find out. it shows up on the uh, on the EQ. Like I'm so it's probably from here. faint. It must. It looks up. It shows up on the EQ. Like whatever. Okay. So let. Mm. <laughs> it does show up at the EQ. So Oprah book club moment. Um, I don't think me losing weight is what led me to wanting to be strong. Um, like seven, eight years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and this was a shit time in my life because the tumor was wrapped pretty much around my ankle all the way up to my knee. Walking was impossible. I was in consistent pain, which means I was gaining weight. I was eating a lot. Like it was bad. Like at my worst, like, do you remember me in the Rocky mountain trip? Like the first Rocky mountain trip? Holy fucking shit, man. (laughs) I was a walking Pillsbury Doughboy. No, no, no. Fuck that. (laughs) The the Michelin man. I, I was a walking <laughs> I was a walking fuckling fuck fuckling. I was a, a walk- fuckling, okay. I was fucked <laughs> up, man. Like I, I look at I every now and then I'll like see a picture of myself from that time. I'm like, oh God, what the fuck was <laughs> like, that? Dude. Again. It was so bad. Like my face looked different. Like I had like what the hell was that? <laughs> Oh my god, it was so bad. It was and body I, fat, you know, from uh, from eating. Yeah, no shit. Not moving. <laughs> I had lot and like I had lost all my hair, my eyebrows, eyelid. Like I mean, it, it was fucking chemo. What do you think happens when you get cancer? You fucking <laughs> you go through chemo and you lose your shit. Right. Almost literally. So it was so bad, and I remember this one moment where I fell and I couldn't get up. I couldn't stand myself up. I'm like, holy shit. Was that was that during that trip? Uh no, it was at some point of the point. It was before that trip, yeah. And it was so bad, and I was just so embarrassed and ashamed of myself. And I'm like, no, no, I'm never gonna be weak again. Now I'm sure a therapist would have a fucking field day unlocking the <laughs> inner bullshittery that got me from I don't want to be weak to fuck it, Great Lake strongest man, let's go. <laughs> like I can only imagine what that. I mean, like, yes, let's overcompensate. Yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, but that's like a that's a catalyst for you then, right? That was your Shit. catalyst to to do exactly yes. what you like to do nowadays. Looking death in the eye and saying, eh, eh, well, 
Okay, I don't want to say. Let's try to die I don't, another I way. don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say. I looked death in the eye and said, "Fuck you." No, it was more of a, eh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm on too much Vicodin to give a shit right now. <laughs> Just like, it, for, for the record, cancer is not a battle. I fucking hate that shit. There is no battle. You ain't doing shit. You're just doing what your doctor tells you, and you just hope that he doesn't take away right. your Vicodin. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just, like, sitting there wasting away, or in my case, fucking eating away. <laughs> like, I don't know where they get that shit where you lose weight on chemo. I guess normal people lose weight on chemo. You're I like, just depress sh- ate myself into more. <laughs> you're like, fuck you. I'm going I'm to outgain this fucking <laughs> chemo. <laughs> you think you're going to win? Fuck you. I'm going to make sure I ain't lose shit, boy. (laughs) That's a great joke. What's the easiest way to lose weight? I don't know. Get cancer, I guess. And then you get cancer and you're like, fuck it. I'm just going to eat this problem away. Like, is that really fucking hell? (laughs) But like, so you went through all that. But then once you had that moment of clarity, was that, was that like halfway through chemo or what was, what was that moment? I was definitely near the end of chemo. Yeah. Through chemo, I didn't do jack shit. I was eating tubs of ice cream. <laughs> there was a, there is a, there was an Italian place, Superosa, and every Sunday they had a special <laughs> called Bucket of Spaghetti and Meatballs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> make this <laughs> they send it to you with like a fucking pail like a garden <laughs> pail and it was literally exactly what you would think it was it was a bucket of spaghetti bucket. and meatballs get your fucking so bucket. i fucking ate that shit until the sadness went away in in like one sitting or? yes i ate that shit until the sadness was replaced by shit <laughs> Just abdominal <laughs> pressure, <laughs> sadness, a, a, oh. a massive internal abdominal hug just like, that takes the hurt away. You just have like a like a sliver of that pasta just hanging out of your mouth as you like pass out in your chair, or whatever. It oh, it eventually combines to one long pasta from your mouth to your asshole through like all two miles or whatever of intestinal tract you oh, got, just shit, like. Two miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! I didn't know that. <sighs> great. This is great. Good news. Hey, yes. Fuck it. If you want to, I hear all these. Pro- Here's what I don't fucking understand, and this pisses me off. It's like all these fucking stupid ass bodybuilders out there. I'm like, sometimes eating the amount of food I need to eat to stay this size is so hard. I'm like, bitch, you're only eating 4,000 calories a day. Or my favorite are like, I have to eat 5,000 calories a day. Bitch, I can eat 5,000 calories in one sitting. You want to sit there? Oh, it's so hard. Okay, but eating clean is also hard. 5,000 calories of eating clean. Bitch, I don't give a shit what I'm putting in my mouth as long as I'm putting stuff into my mouth. I feel like some people do have a like a ge- genetic predisposition to just not physically being able to eat so much fucking food. Yeah, like then maybe bodybuilding isn't the sport for you. You. Maybe, okay, if you're can, five foot three, yeah. maybe basketball isn't the career you should be going but, for. But it's not even like if we're talking about like bodybuilding, like you can still body build. You just don't have to necessarily like shovel copious amounts of food in your body. You're like, but okay, if you want to well, get to the upper is... echelon, like if you have yeah. a goal, like D ball smoke some weed and hope for the best, like what are you gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like again, yeah, because then you have all that drugs and all that fun shit which makes you more hungry because you got more body mass on you blah 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 yeah definitely how jack do i need to be to to um what's the word i'm looking for uh to rationalize eating six thousand calories a day uh, like how much time do i actually need to spend at the gym where 6,000 calories actually becomes muscle mass and a little bit of fat mass rather than a lot of fat mass uh, and then just more ass. Well, let's see. Uh, Chris Bumstead apparently does 4,500 on his off season. He's about 210 right now. 4,500 of six foot four pure muscle. So. Okay, what about yeah. 210, five foot three, <laughs> mostly punch? <laughs> 
what do I need to do in the gym to rationalize five foot three, two hundred ten pounds of mostly pudge? Man, strong man, bro. <laughs> that's the <laughs> rationalization, dude. I think that's what it is. I think I chose strong man only because hey, what's a sport where most people look fat? And you're like, oh, strong man. <laughs> I don't have to worry about losing weight or looking a particular way. Like at this yeah, point, not necessarily no. The, co- the competition is what kind of fat rolls in your back skull head do you have that you could swipe a credit card through? Like, like that's the ideal that, sport. What's that Bulgarian dude's name with that crazy ass like just like skinhead where he's got like that? It's that meme with the rock he's Dude, like sitting at the bottom with. And there just, are get... so many slobs. The one dude. In that sport. <laughs> oh, man. Every single strong man has the the skull fat rolls. Every <laughs> single one. Fuck. <laughs> Just like credit card reader in the head, man. You know, you know what that reminds me of? Ah. Uh. I just want to get this on stream. I want to hear this on stream. Hear what on stream? You'll what see. are we listening to? Is it going to get us copyright stroke stroking? I don't think so. I hope not. Shouldn't. What are we listening Wait, no, to? Not this what are one. you playing? Freaking Kuriakos Grizzly, dude. What? I know what men can do when they're angry. I was afraid of the retaliation. I know the power of patriarchy. I know what men can do when they're angry. This is the man. What the that fuck all is he men, doing? All men should aspire to be. He just like. What is he doing? Is he just... <laughs> if you... Is he breaking his elbow? If you, if you don't approach the weights like that, what dude... What even was he doing? Is he I don't even want you to push the weights. <laughs> this guy has a 500-pound good morning, dude. Like, legit. Yeah. He puts the bar on his back, gets into... He does, like, good mornings with, like, 500 pounds on his back. He's, like... He's something else. He's a meme, for sure, right now. I have... I have a... 380 pound good morning it was it was supposed to be a squat (laughs) it did not become a squat look at that thing (laughs) wow way to fucking half rep a good morning buddy what the fuck is that i mean think about like 200 kilograms so what is that 400 some pounds yeah to be even be in that position is kind of tough dude i don't know he's got his ass sticking out (laughs) i'll do it i'll do that shit right now i'll go to the gym and i'll fucking 200 kilo hey google what's 200 kilograms to pounds i could fucking good morning 440 i can half rep good mornings you're coming down dude this guy's fuck you this man is built different fuck you (laughs) I'm going to fucking go to the gym. I'm going to good morning the fuck. I'm going to half rep good morning the fuck out of 440.925 oh, pounds. Squat. Let's see a squat. Half repped. Watch this shit get half repped. Watch this shit get half repped. I bet you. Let's go, Kiriakos Grizzly. Do it. I haven't actually seen this video. That's as it's low a as, half rep squat. That's as low as his gut will allow that's him to go. That's a fucking quarter rep squat. <laughs> fucking fat ass strong men <laughs> do high bar squats to depth. That's some fucking that's, bullshittery. Nobody yeah. gives a fuck. No <laughs> half repping loser. Ain't nobody give a shit how much you can half rep squat. Just like, ain't nobody give a shit how much you can leg press. You ever had that happen to you? Some motherfucker's like, yeah, I can leg press uh, like a thousand pounds. I can leg press a thousand pounds. My uh, fucking Natalia can leg press a thousand pounds. Nobody gives a flying fuck how much you can leg press. The gym bro test of strength is the leg press, I think. No, the gym bro test of strength is the bench press. Still think so? Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck how much you can leg press. <laughs> I feel, but I feel like I see, like, I'm saying, like, not even, like, bodybuilder type. I'm saying, like, eh, yeah, they lift. They don't really, they, you know, they go to the gym, but, like, they, they make a big deal it's when they can the do a leg press. press. Yeah, okay. It's still the bench That's true, press. true, okay. What is the most Iconic. useless test of strength? What is, like, okay, we debated what's the best. What are, what are the stupidest tests of strength? Um, yeah, I think the press. curl. Curl, Nobody gives a so? fuck. I mean, I understand that there's a curl world record and that there yeah, is an actual see? competition for it. I understand, <laughs> but who gives a shit? I'm, who apparently cares? People do. Who cares <laughs> how much test of strength? Nobody cares how much you can curl. Whoever asked you 
like, <laughs> I mean, okay, I get it. It's a sports specific thing. Yeah. But even who who in the ah, what about arm wrestling? Shit? Arm They don't ask you how much you can curl. Yeah, that's true. But I'm saying like that's arm more wrestling about, in general, though. Like yeah, it's important to them. But the test of strength is who wins. That's true. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, and that I guarantee you, it's more forearm. It's this wrist curl thing. That, yeah, I think that's more important a for thing. With yeah, the shoulder. Yeah, definitely. Um, what's another useless s- useless test of strength? Um. Oh God! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm so remember. bicep curl number one, definitely right. useless test of strength. Nobody gives leg a shit. Press, how much you I can guess. Work. Leg press. Nobody leg gives press a fuck how much you can leg press. <laughs> Nobody cares. First of all, if you're re- if you're maxing out a leg press for one rep, you do not understand the purpose of that machine. That is yep. not a machine where oh, look what I can do for one rep. No, no. Get, get like, under a squat bar. Yeah, I mean, like the, the leg press. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do like one rep maxes That's on leg stupid. press. I think that is stupid. Stupid. Um, especially on some of those. Especially those like leg press machines that are like facing you this way. Just, yeah, like, where if it falls putting so much in the fucking pain. weight like yeah. the, on your fucking knees and shit, like that shit's horrible. But... It's like those fucking compilations of people whose fucking knee snaps backwards in the gym. Or... You watch those videos? Man, I'm trying to think of some the leg press where the fucking leg, the knee just snaps. Yeah, I'm trying That's to think like, good shit. Oh, like some some Bradley Martin shit, man. I don't know, like some kind of Bradley weird Martin balancing act shit. A Bosu man. ball squat. Right. Oh God, yes, <laughs> Bos Bozo ball. I call them Bozo, Bozo balls because ball I, I understand Bozo ball squat. Who the fuck invented a Bozo ball squat? <laughs> I love what, saying that. What? I see that at the yes. fucking gym, man. It's, it's just some always some, like, reject personal trainer who doesn't have their NASM. They have, like, their nutritionist certificate. Not even. Because, and it's just like, oh, it's good for your balance. I'm like, as opposed to a normal squat? Yeah, it's, it's like, there, there's plenty of stability to be had in a normal fucking squat, let alone having somebody who obviously is uncomfortable, because I'll see an uncomfortable yeah, motherfucker I, on know. these Bosu balls, it's man. just like... I guarantee you I can squat more than most of you. No. More than most people in the gym. And I'm looking at it like I can't do a bozo ball squat. Like. I'm pretty damn stable. Shit, I can do one. I can do stupid. a bozo ball squat. Stupid. But there's plenty of more uh, function to using a bozo ball. Like, for instance, I would for use a balance, bozo. balance, the bench press with the shoulders. Yeah, and I mean, stuff. you could do, you could yeah. do, you could do like a plank on there. That's an unstable yeah. surface for that plank. Or you could, you know, put your heels in there, elevate a glute bridge, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, but yeah, yeah. bozo ball squat. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else that's like stupid. Uh, or useless, you say. Useless. Uh, what is something somebody would try to show off with and it doesn't... Oh, my God. Oh, the 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 glute bridge. You you literally just said it. Oh, you mean like a... Yeah, the, yeah, the like motherfucker who... Yeah, the hip thrust. The motherfucker who bounces a thousand pounds off the ground on a hip thrust. Oh, yeah. Well, that's stupid. Who gives a shit? Nobody cares how much you can hip thrust. Yeah, hip thrust. I mean... It's another one. Oh, yeah, for, hip for thrust. test of strength. Yeah. yeah, it's a test of strength. Sure. Like... It's one of those things that people would show off. It's like on, um, uh, and I see this on Fitstagram all the time. And it's only the girls who will really thousand do it. Pound a thousand pound hip thrust. hip thrust. Oh wow! Congratulations! So impressive. <laughs> like, no, nobody cares. Use it for yeah. I mean, like go like squat. Some, one show rep me max how much you stuff. Squat. Yeah. yeah, one rep max stuff for for those kind of exercises. Like you, you already have the the preset you know strength exercise that most yeah. people will use these these multi movement so yeah your deadlift your squat your bench press your overhead press um you know those things i mean i guess fine if you if you want to like if you really want to do a one rep max on any of these things fucking go for it but in our opinions yeah that's, just that's saying, just useless who cares <laughs> yeah unless As we were just about unless listed in the previous list speaking you know? of useless tests of strength are you gonna go for your uh, curl rep max again? Oh my god! Do it. I don't know. We'll see. He did it before. He hit a hundred twenty pound strict curl. <laughs> Today is the day on I, an axle bar. I pop a fucking bicep. on an axle bar, which does not make it any easier. <laughs> and he did it, but we didn't get it on video. And then we tried to get it on video. And you didn't do it. Yeah. How are your biceps feeling today? I feel pretty refreshed. Great. We'll You're see. hitting that after you helped me get the Atlas stones out of my car. Perfect. <laughs> I guess that's what we're going to do. 
<laughs> All right, team. That'll thanks conclude. you for joining us for the stream. Next week, we're going to talk about Swole of Mind. Swole of Mind. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a 10-question quiz. Oh, boy. Swole of Mind. Questions that I think you should know the answer to, and you'll come up with a list of 10 questions you think I should know the answer to. And we're going to see... Within the realm of fitness. Yes, within the realm of fitness. Okay. And we're going to see who is the swollest of mind. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. See you guys later.